the field. The defensive performances at home, the last few games here at Trinity Health have been pretty solid. How are you feeling as a defensive unit kind of right at the moment? Yeah, uh, I, I feel like we've been we've been strong for, for a while. I mean, last week we had a few setbacks with the, the free kicks, um, but as a unit, all 11 have been bought in for the last some time now. So, so we've been working hard, we've been shifting together, and, and I think the at-home performances have really shown that. Um, so we're looking to get another one this weekend. Um, from your perspective, you know, the home versus road form has obviously been a little bit different. What's explained uh, the, some of the struggles on the road there for you? Yeah, you know, it's, it's always tough playing on the road in this league. It doesn't matter where you go, it's always a new environment. Um, the, the, getting used to the surface is different. Getting used to their fans being there. And, and there's a lot of different things that add up to, to an away match. And it takes a lot of, uh, of experience. And, and we're learning. We're, we're, we're getting better. We had a few performances um, in the middle of the season where we went to Sacramento, one of the better teams traditionally in the league. And we had a great performance. And we just, at the end of the game, we fell just a bit short. Um, so we have had moments where we, we've looked good on the road. Um, but at home, we've been more confident. We've been flying offensively and in, in, in possession. We've been, we've been doing the things we've been asked. Um, so we're going to continue to do that. And uh, hopefully t this Saturday is, is proof of, of all the work that we've been putting in. Uh, Las Vegas coming this weekend. They're on a little bit of a hot streak. What are you expecting from them? How are you approaching that game? Yeah, uh, they've been doing well. They're, they're a confident team. They like to build in possession. So for us, that's what we're at home. We're, we're going to try, try and smother them. Um, when they have the ball, we're going to try and make it impossible for them to get their head up. Um, we're going to try and put a man in, in all their faces and, and really try and press them off the field, hopefully. Uh, you mentioned they like to kind of build in possession. That's a little bit of the opposite of what Harvard's like to do this season, kind of play a little bit more on the counter. Um, how do you see that kind of stylistic matching? Yeah, I mean, if we, if we deploy our game plan, if we execute, it's a, it's a great matchup for us because we do have the speed to exploit them. Um, and if they're openly expansive in the build out, um, then we'll have the opportunity to possibly pick one off in their half and go directly to their goal with our speed. So for us, it's all about deploying our game plan and executing in the final third, but also in our defensive third. Uh, atmosphere in Rhode Island was uh, one, of the, one of the more intense road atmospheres I've, I've seen. How does that feel to play in? Feels good. That's what this game is made for. The tension, the energy, you know what I'm saying? It's all about energies. It gives you energy, it gives you momentum, it gives you everything you need, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, it didn't go our way, but we will need it here tomorrow. We need our fans to give us the same energy that Rhode Island fans give them. Because with the fans, that's how we can do it. Without the fans, we can't do it. So we need them to come out and we can give them a good show because their energy matters to us. With them, we can do it. Without them, we can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because their energy will reflect on our energy and we can go together to give us a result. Uh, you mentioned that energy, obviously the results at home have been a lot better Have been a lot better this season. How much does that energy matter and what do you feel can other things that contribute to those? Oh, it feels good, it feels good. We have a good home record. It hasn't been bad as it should be, but we're building on it, you know what I'm saying? Nothing is gonna be overnight success. Everything takes time in this league, you know what I'm saying? With a new group, new fan, uh, new coaches, new everything, new players, it's not going to be just like like a switch, you know. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of momentum to get into our rhythm and to get us going. So this last 12 games, you know, we, we will need our last six home games. We need our fans to come out and show us love and finish it strong with us. Because if we can get those points, it's going to help us move into the final third of the season, which is our last away games. So we need them to come on our home games. We need the points at home so that when we go on the road and we can get something on the road, it will help us get us going. Uh, yeah, you mentioned kind of building momentum. What are some of the positives you've seen uh, from the team over the last, you know, maybe five, six, seven games that you're hoping to build more on? Ah, we haven't been giving up lately, you know what I'm saying? We went on a good stretch. You know, this was our last, uh, the last game against Rhode Island was like our last loss in two games, in five games. You know what I'm saying? It has been better. You know, we've been building on, we were getting results on the road, we were getting results here, you know what I'm saying? We didn't give up, we went some home games, you know what I'm saying? So it's been better, you know, it's not like we have not progressed since we came here. You know, it's been a progression year for all of us, the coaches, the players, all of us, it's new for all of us. So I think it's been better and we can make it greater, you know what I'm saying? We can make it greater by giving us all we got. And the players are ready to go on tomorrow because we know how important this final third of the season is. It means to us as the players, it means to the staff, and it means to the fans. You know, the goal is to give 
Hartford fans something to remember. You know, and this year has been a roller coaster year for all of us, and we're trying to make it better. And it's not the end of it. We're going to keep pushing, we're going to keep fighting, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get results tomorrow and up our, our upcoming games that we have here. Last week against Rhode Island, first half kind of felt like the game was in the balance, second half got a little bit away from the team. Talk yeah. That yeah, we missed two big chances at the end of the first half. You know, you can't do that on the road. The, those have to be buried and then it's game on for the second half. I thought we played really well in the first half. The second half uh, definitely got away from us. You know, that wasn't us. We weren't pressing the way we expected to. We weren't keeping the ball um, at the same level that we did in the first half, and the chance creation wasn't there because of it. They deserve to win. Uh, not taking those chances, that's kind of been one of the themes this season, going back you know, the first few games. Uh, what's, what's, what, what explains that? Yeah, some of it might be confidence. We talked about just playing with more confidence, with more energy, with, you know, make it a little more fun. Um, there seems to be a tension in the final third that, that doesn't need to be there. Um, and, you know, guys tend to go on tears like Mark Hanich is down in Charleston when they're, uh, you know, when they're playing with complete freedom. And how much does that build on itself when you the season? The chances don't fall, you miss them, you know, guys tense up. Absolutely. Yeah, it builds and builds. Um, so we just said you get you got to wipe it clean. Go in clean slate. You've got 12 games. We're still in a position to make a run at it, and we have to play with complete freedom. Thinking about those 12 games, about a third of the season. Uh, what are your goals? You know, starting from today over those 12 games. Just to approach it, um, you know, weekend to weekend, one game at a time, um, but to to not deviate from what we've just agreed on in the locker room, which is to play with freedom, to play uh, in a way that, you know, we can be proud of at the end of the day, no matter what the result is. So the the energy um, to do the, the hard things consistently, that comes with, you know, confidence. Um, but we have to kind of relieve the tension, I guess is the best way to put it, in order to get the best out of our attacking core. And then at the other end of the pitch defensively, um, set pieces against Rhode Island were kind of the sore spot, which yep. has been another one of the teams kind of in the season. What's going on there and how do you address that? With set pieces, we had been good up until a couple weeks ago, but we knew going into Rhode Island that they were a very big team and they generate a lot of their chances off set pieces. So to give up three was, you know, uh, very, very frustrating to say the least. But the reality is we spent a lot more time on it again this week and, you know, that's an area where we just have to go and we have to be better at competing and beating guys to their spot. So it goes back to that individual freedom to express yourself and make sure that you're winning your individual battles and you're having fun doing it. And then looking ahead to Las Vegas uh, this weekend, they kind of had a wild off season, but have played well uh, yeah. this season. What are your thoughts on that? Night? Yeah, they haven't lost in 11 now, is that right? Um, they're in fantastic form. So, you know, those are fun teams to play against, in, in my mind, or they should be fun teams to play against because we have an opportunity to end that streak. Uh, and then thinking about how you balance the rest of this season, 12 games, you're starting to think about next season, which you have to think about regardless of the situation. Yep. Uh, but how do you balance that? Over the, uh, the balance is simple. We focus on next weekend. Um, you know, roster building is always in the background. Um, but our focus is on the field and our focus is continuing to get results here at home until our road form turns. Um, we've actually had a good season at home. If we had anywhere near a similar record on the road, we'd be a healthy playoff team. And then what, what do you think explains that on the road? Uh, some of it's the travel, some of it's you know things other teams deal with um, that we haven't dealt with as well. And honestly, there have been just some crazy circumstance. I think back to the Sacramento game where Vitiello makes four save of the week contenders in one game. You know, that's not stuff you see even every year, um, never mind in, in one team season. And we've seen a lot of strange circumstances.